In this video I'm going to show you how to use the new Samsung Generation 6 controller. You can tell it's Generation 6 because this controller has no door um, and it has this new color display. So first off we can see on this side here this is heating and this side here is hot water. And currently if we look at heating you can turn on and off with this button. It shouldn't normally be on all the time and it should say set 0.0. .0. If you'd like more information, press OK. You can see the setting here. You can see the current water temperature is 15 degrees and the indoor temperature is 13 degrees. This will obviously rise as the unit starts to operate. If you go back again and you press the gear button, you can see the operation status. If you press OK, it tells you what's happening. So in this case, our water pump is running and our indoor thermostat is on. So this is a useful bit of information if you have any problems. Again, if we go back to the front screen um, and we scroll across to the right and press on off, we can set our hot water. Again, if we press OK, you see more info. So you can see the temperature of the water is set to 52. This can be changed up and down. Um, and we can change the mode. If you press OK, there's economic, which will leave you cold. Standard is normal and force can be used if you want the hot water to come on immediately um, with no delay. So you press OK and force mode is selected. Um, once this is done, you can see your current temperature of your cylinder is 30 degrees. So it will try and get to 52 as quickly as possible. Again, if you return back to normal, this is the standard screen showing what's going on. So generally speaking, you should see zone with 0, 0.0, DHW with a set temperature, and that's fine. Should there be an error, a display will show up here with the error code. It's very important you get this right and show this to the engineer. He'll want to see it.